we're Chris and Teresa, and we would love to guide you on your fiber arts journey. We own a successful fiber processing mill and online needle felting business, experienced at raising all fiber animals, and have renovated a hundred year old school into a fiber arts retreat center. Processing, needle felting, yarn, roving, fiber animals, and sustainable agriculture are all topics discussed here. Think of this as your one stop shop for advice, information, tips, and getting your questions answered on all things from farm to needle. So pull up a seat, make sure you're cozy, and get ready to be inspired while you learn. This is YouTube. Welcome to YouTube 150. Quite the milestone. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. We have come. <laughs> oh, wow. wow. We have kind of been on a sentimental journey this evening. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. We started with reading some of the just uh, we have a few rooms at our book so we weren't able to go into every room but we decided to pause and read some of the the, the comments and we journals put, yeah. we put little journals in each room mm -hmm. thanks to jennifer manstrom mm -hmm. and encourage people to write in that about mm -hmm. their stay here mm -hmm. and we haven't had a chance to read them and mm -hmm. we did that tonight mm -hmm. so you can the ones that we could get into so so if, if, if we didn't miss your comments, if you stayed, it's because the room was if booked. If we did, say that again. If we did miss your comments? I said didn't. If we didn't miss your comments? <laughs> if we did, your <laughs> If we did miss your comment. Yeah. We're sorry. We're sorry. But we couldn't get in that room. Mm -hmm. May 13th, 2022. I was here for a felting retreat. The food was amazing. I learned so much about felting. Cindy H. May 22nd, 2022. I so enjoyed staying in Charlotte's room with Anne's friends for our birthday celebration weekend. Such a beautiful building, people, and time spent together. Best Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte stayed in Charlotte's room. Isn't that awesome? 5 2022. This has been a magical weekend. A fabulous venue, tasty food, stimulating programs, and best of all, sharing time with good friends and new friends. Chris, Teresa, and all, you are making a difference in the world and in individual lives. Wishing oh. you the best. Oh, oh. Wow. that is so precious. Oh my goodness. 6622. What a great building that was saved from the wreck, wrecking ball. I, a family weekend, went to Fort Ransom and Valley City. Food oh. great, friendly staff. Oh, that's awesome. Great. 6 2022, here for NDRW board oh. meeting. Mm -hmm. The verse, the venue, not the verse. The venue is amazing. <laughs> the food delicious and the people outstanding. Well, tell all my friends about this little piece of heaven. Oh. I learned how to felt and plan to teach my granddaughters. Oh. You are amazing, Michelle. Oh. May 7th to the 8th, 2022. I loved our stay. We got a tour by Karen. God bless her. Since you guys are getting goats, goat yoga would be so cute. It would be. Mm -hmm. By the way, I'm the one that did the cat math law. Interesting. We enjoyed our stay and will definitely be coming back for fiber art classes. We loved how much effort everyone has put into this school. Karen gave us chocolate llamas and opened the store for us. I think she should get a raise. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. Anyway, I give you one, two, three, four, five, six stars. Cool. Oh, far more. Okay. Let's see this. May 20th. Anne's Weekend, Elegant School Restoration, Amazing Vision, Amazing Women, oh, Workers and Staff Get Nominated for Business of the Year, Nonprofit of the Year, and Shepherds of the Year. Oh, I love you both, all workers and staff. Oh my gosh, your business shall get Business of the Year. Oh, combining with the very latest farm to usable products. Oh, God bless her. June 17th through 19th, we learned so much. Enjoyed everything, every, every moment. You two are amazing. Oh, I'll thank you all. Love all your ideas. Celebrate for utilize, 
util for utilizing every animal old and new. Wow. Mm -hmm. 520 2022 this is a very comfortable room for two people or four i guess if you're good friends <laughs> the whole facility was and is so great and the food absolutely wonderful thanks for a wonderful weekend oh, cool may 5th 2022 had a great time i grew up four miles from known gnome <laughs> went to school in fingal but had been had been in Gnome School years ago. Fun to run into the locals on Thirsty Thursday. It's my third overnight at the schoolhouse, but this is the first time here on a retreat. I'm taking a flat felting class with Jean and it has been wonderful. The meals have been great. The room is so precious and we've had lots of fun visiting tonight. At dinner, we talked great books and Teresa made us copies of the list. <laughs> We walked downtown to another cute shop and bought some items for the home. Tomorrow we have a last felted project. We'll have completed six of them and then back home. It's been a lovely retreat and break from my reality. Oh, that's awesome. May 22nd. My sister and I shared this charming sewing room as we celebrated the 76th birthday of a dear friend. We were part of a group of 25 plus women who enjoyed getting to know each other, sharing stories, good food, books, and lots of laughter. The charming venue and the hospitality provided by Chris and Teresa and their crew made this memorable weekend that will be treasured by all of us forever. Thank you. Oh my goodness. This place is such a gem. I traveled from Taylorsville, Georgia, just 50 miles northwest of Atlanta. I'm here for the fiber mill weekend. It has been such a great experience. Chris and Teresa are exceptional hosts and have exceeded my expectations. Extra kudos to Chris for allowing me to bring some mohair from my farm so I could learn firsthand how to clean and process it. She has been such a fun addition to my Angora goat farm journey. I wish you two the best. P.S. The food and staff are pretty special too. Stephanie, Laughing Creek Pastures, Taylorsville, Georgia. <laughs> the Gnome Schoolhouse owners were generous to, do, to donate a stay here as an auction item at the Fargo Gigi's Playhouse Gala. We bid on the item and won. We didn't know anything about Gnome Schoolhouse, but we're excited to check it out. Our stay here has been wonderful. The food and hospitality are amazing. We were treated to a private tour and are so impressed with everything they have done here. We look forward to returning to see the evolution of this beautiful building and property. Thank you. Colleen and Eric. Our parent educators from NDSU Extension across the state had a lovely time here in Nome and at the schoolhouse. The food was delicious, beds and rooms so cozy, but the warm hospitality is what makes the experience. Staff are kind, helpful, and delightful. Thank you for the wonderful, relaxing stay. It was just what I needed. With gratitude, Jeannie. 5-17-2022, thank you so much for all of your love and hospitality. So laid back and accommodating. Yeah. The food was on point. Always go with chef's choice, Melissa. This room has a glorious, only in North Dakota sunrise. Thanks for being able to stay in your dream. Everything was fabulous. May 27th, what a wonderful gem for us to explore on our last day of school adventure. I have been watching the progress on Facebook and it is so much more awesome. Your attention to every detail makes this place a three, a true. A treasure. Makes this place a true treasure. Excellent food, comfy rooms. We cannot wait to tell others and to come back ourselves. Pat, Seth, and Lakin. Yes, and Teresa's tired mm -hmm. because, as you will see, I'm sure it's coming up right now in front before your eyes. Mm -hmm. The mulching. We have removed the rock from the front of the school because it was done in kind of haste. 
right before the grand opening. Yeah, and and it was like, what do we do with this rock? Let's just throw it in this front. And it was, it had so much dirt and. Well, ugh. we we got the rock, and then it had to be put somewhere. So then we put it on gravel, and then mm -hmm. we picked it up from the gravel. Mm -hmm. and there's gravel in the dirt in the rock, and then we put it on this cheap fabric. <laughs> and the horrible. weeds were growing through it. That was our entire front of our school. It was horrible. And it was hard to pull the weeds out of the rocks. Mm -hmm. And so yep. my husband removed all of the rock for me. It looks and amazing. Yes. And, and then Teresa then I put all mulched. the mulch down today. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. It was a beautiful day for that. Yep. It wasn't and too hot. And it, it was brown mulch and it looks just so nice with, with the windows. All of the trim, whatnot. the window mm -hmm. trim. We're at a perch that we've never been before. We kind of like it. Yeah, mm -hmm. we kind of like it. Mm -hmm. It is an absolute gorgeous evening here. It is. It's absolute been a beautiful day. Evening. It's been so hot here. Mm-hmm. Yep. And this has been lovely. Yeah, and last night we had a wonderful group of, we had a corporate event, and <laughs> we did a tour, and we got them to, to all of them, to Needlefelt. And there was there were some gentlemen that that were a little <laughs> little they weren't going to do it, but but we got him to do it, and, and it was pretty cool. Are you going to share the video? Yes. Okay. Cool. Because I was up in my office, and you should maybe know that I can hear everything <laughs> in my little office. FYI. <laughs> and I just overheard people saying, "We're doing a craft. We're doing a craft tonight." Ew. It's like oh. <laughs> Oh, why would we be doing a craft? And they it sounded like they were just not devastated. Impressed. Yeah, but they all out, had a great they time. They had a lot of fun, and they mm -hmm. were they did a super amazing. They shocked me how well they did. Okay, we have an amazing group. The North Dakota Rural Water Association is here with us. Led by Erie Volk, no. Led, led by Mr. Volk, is that what yeah, you said? Yeah, okay, yeah. led by Mr. Volk, and they are, no. they are needle felting, and they are doing an amazing job. This is the coolest thing. Look at, look at how perfect that is. Look at this. It's just, I am just, I am so shocked. I mean, I'm not shocked. I mean, it's just really cool, because you guys had no idea what you were doing before, and you're all doing this. And you, sir, told me you weren't going to do this <coughs> and, 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 and now you're now look at that it's amazing it's absolutely amazing so then I can take this and put it right here you could if you wanted to or you can just finish that and we'll we'll give you that to put it to put like on your um, a, a momentum so when yeah. is it finished Flip, keep, oh, you got a little more stabbing. A little more stabbing. You're close, though. You're close. <laughs> yeah, yours is nice and chunky. Did you do that? Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. It was pretty cool. It was fun. Great, great group of guys and, so. we and gals. So I missed out on this little group because I was out mm -hmm. getting mulch. Mm -hmm. For the yep. front of the school, but it's, it looks like they were a really. I did come back later that evening and got to visit with them a little bit, and that was kind of fun. Yep. So. Yeah, it was pretty cool. And then Chris forgot to property properly close the latch over at the Peterson farm, so all the sheep were out. The alpacas, the good little alpacas that they were, were still in, but the ten sheep were running about. Running everywhere. And so we had to yep. chase them in, but mm -hmm. thankfully Mary came out with the bucket and they all went running back in. Mm -hmm. So this morning, dear Mike, Mike Peterson showed me properly how to latch this gate. I've had animals for years <laughs> and I should, know better. I should know better. I should know better. Yeah. We were used to though. Ridiculous. Goodness. <sighs> yeah, Anywho, animals running can't around. have it. animals running all over everywhere. Yes. Uh, and then another thing, we had um, the weekend in the fiber mill, and I'm sure pictures are popping up now. I'm just going to continue talking. We had a gal from Georgia, raises Angora goats. They are really beautiful fiber, and they're so, so cute. Um, and we had a couple gals from that, that came that, that just were like, we asked them, 
you have any interest in the fiber arts? No, no, they just, they just wanted to come and have a girls a sister with sisters and they just wanted a, a weekend away and they didn't know what to expect and they had a wonderful time. They were curious about what we do here. Yeah. And that was a great weekend for them. It was, pick. yep. Mm -hmm. And then we had Gail who has been here before mm -hmm. and she had a great time. And Saturday evening after everyone went to bed, Gail and I sat up and it was, it was really interesting because I've been kind of in a funk. Gail herself has been kind of in a funk and Gail, reminded me that's why I say we're kind of looking back we look back on YouTube number 68 and she said that that she went back and watched YouTube number 68 and her it kind of put it all into perspective and and we did too we went back and watched YouTube number 168 we did it today. Mm -hmm. and it's like wow yeah, we were wow. in the midst of COVID, yeah. with everything getting closed down, and that's right when we had had our grand opening mm -hmm. event, the the gym, mm -hmm. and so we were ready to start doing events, and we had to cancel all of them. You'd think we live in a big city. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> okay, it's gone now. Yes, and yeah, and um, wow, it was just yeah, so. YouTube number 68. It, yeah, there was all sorts You'll of... You'll find lots of things in there, like we yeah. promise things. Yeah, and we're going to fulfill those promises. For one thing, swings in the mill, they're coming. They are coming. Two to, swings in the mill. We're going to have to make some space. I, I got the area. I got it mapped out already. Swings in the mill are coming. And also, Clink is going to be lit up. Next week, watch for it. We're going to do that tonight. We did a lot of other things tonight. It's the 50th. 150. 150. We're going to do it. Okay. Tonight. We're going to light clink, clink up. <laughs> Oof, that means we got to go find lights. I know. We okay. can do it. All right. The night of the young. 10% battery power. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I get here. So good. All right. Now we're going to go through our questions. We have boogied herself down into the event center. So I feel like a small child. Why? Because <laughs> I feel so short. Because I'm are short. Down. Okay, of course I am. <laughs> okay, we had a few questions, and one of them was for setting the dye. I mentioned setting the dye in the microwave because we we use the microwave to set the dye for the dropper little project we had last week with the um, Delta coasters in episode one forty nine. In episode 149 and also for setting like hand painted skeins so on and so forth and we do three minutes on high that's what we use to set the mm -hmm. to set the dye the answer to that and yes in that same question somebody asked if they could wash their um finished products like finished yarn or and whatnot with echo scour because 149 was sponsored by echo scour Mm -hmm. And yes, you certainly can, but you need such a teeny tiny, it's so concentrated, it's it's kind of overkill. Yeah, but you sure could, but you would need just a tiny little drop of it to wash. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then how long, we also talked about the concentrates that we use Cushing's dyes and we mix them into a concentrate with two cups of boiling water into a jar. And I said that they last a long time. And I've had, <laughs> I've kept them up to a year. <laughs> and, and what happens as they age, they lose their natural color. So as an example, Egyptian red, will turn to rust. And it won't be that that nice, sharp red Egyptian color, the Egyptian red color, and it's kind of the same with all of them. If you're not, if you start using it, they, they separate. I mean, you have to shake them before every use, but they just, you know, and some of them last, you know, three months, and some of them last six months, and it kind of varies per, per the color. I suppose the pigments in the, in the dyes and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And you just have to watch that. Mm -hmm. Yep, and blanket. And then somebody asked if, Teresa, if you blanket your sheep, do you? I do not. And why not? I did that for a while. 
uh, thinking that would help with any of the the vegetable vegetable matter mm -hmm, in the wool. Mm -hmm. And the sheep would get into the trees and they would totally shred the coats that they had. And so we don't have any pasture that doesn't have trees. So, mm -hmm. and I don't know that it helped that much. And we had to continually make the coats bigger and bigger as the wool grew. Oh. So it was a lot of um, maintenance. And, yeah, maintenance on our part. And um, the way that we have uh, worked to try and get the wool cleaner is the way we feed the sheep. Uh, we don't feed them alfalfa bales just in a bale feeder. We grind the alfalfa and put it in a, in a, like a trough so that they can go eat it. And they can't get in it and they can't get it on themselves. And that's what we have uh, done to mm -hmm. help with the... And at shearing, I mean, there, there really isn't a lot, lot of skirting that And before that, we did have a problem. We did mm -hmm. because they would get into the alfalfa bale and they would just get it all over their backs. Mm -hmm. And the alfalfa has just tiny little pieces all over everything and you can't, there's mm -hmm. no way to get it out. Mm -hmm. And so um, that's when we came up with, you know, grinding and then mm -hmm. we just feed them so much every day in their little trough. So. And then it's, it's more efficient for the alfalfa because mm -hmm. otherwise they kind of pick through it. And they just do. They the waste leaves. a lot. Yeah. And so this is a good way to um, keep them from wasting any because it's all ground. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so they eat it all. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. And another question on, two more questions on the echo scour. And one of them was, will it make a scratchy wool sweater soft? And it will not. Mm -hmm. You can certainly wash your scratchy wool sweater, but in the end, it will still be scratchy. a scratchy wool sweater. You just have the wrong, the, the, that sweater was made with the wrong kind of wool. Because mm -hmm. not all wools are scratchy. Not no. at all. Mm -mm. And then the other question on Equiscour was, can you wash show sheep with Equiscour? And I myself have never shown sheep, but you and your family has shown lots of sheep. We have, and we would, you know, like rinse the mm -hmm. sheep. Uh, we never really washed them because we didn't want to disturb their fleece. We just wanted to keep their fleece the way it was. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't see any reason why you couldn't use it for a show sheep. I mean, I think it would work actually very, very well. Yeah, it really so. whitens the, the fleeces mm -hmm. up. And, huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool, cool. And then we had a question more we had a question about our snowman kits or Teresa's snowman kits that she, I mean, how many years ago did you design that snowman? It was kit? one of the first yeah. kits that I came so up with. So probably 2010, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and the question was about the snowman kit. And then one of our, and it was really interesting because one of our other customers shared the link then which was very nice. Which is really cool, mm -hmm. yeah, for that snowman. Because she was wondering how to find the mm -hmm. hat and scarf pattern mm -hmm. that I make for my snowman. Mm -hmm. And then this gal responded with, she found it, and she was surprised at the price of my snowman kit. Mm -hmm. And... Um, it, <laughs> it, it, it's a little frustrating because... Teresa's snowman kit, for, for one thing, is the only is the only needle felting company that gives you these pre-felted balls. You have three different sizes of pre-felted balls that you that make it so easy. It's such mm -hmm. a beginner kit because you're virtually just just covering mm -hmm. the balls. Yeah, with like the while teaching classes, I realized yeah. that people were a little frustrated with how long it took, which mm -hmm. needle felting is always a long process. Mm -hmm. And this just speeds up the process. So then I tried mm -hmm. to make all of my kids easy and not frustrating for beginners mm -hmm. so that they would really like the yeah. needle felting. And, and, and the little snowmen, they're almost six, seven, eight inches tall. They're not, they're not little. little. No, mm -hmm. and, they're, and they're, oh my goodness, they have the Romney wool that we have processed, everything is done on site here at the Gnome Schoolhouse from mm -hmm. washing the wool. The sheep graze literally in the backyard. Know, what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, acre in the backyard. Mm -hmm. The fleeces are brought into the into the mill in downstairs. We we process it, we wash it, we process it, and it goes twenty feet to where it's made into the kits. We mm -hmm. even make print off our own 
instructions. Instructions here. Which we were have written a by me, and the yes. pictures were taken by me. And it's all done, boom, on site. All right here. Uh, the the wool never leaves North Dakota. Mm -mm. Uh, it's um, it's all it's it's not imported right here. Yep. Um, if you're looking for cheaper kits, there's definitely cheaper kits, but yes. you won't find the quality mm -hmm. and you won't find it grown and processed in the USA like you will at Bear Creek Felting. You know, and it's so interesting. I mean, there, there's nobody, no other company out there that is raising their own sheep, processing their own wool and packaging all on one site. I mean, no. it's just it's just unheard of. I mean, we get people that come here and do tours and their their eyes are just open up. They're like, this this just wow. doesn't happen. <laughs> I mean, manufacturing doesn't take place like this. I mean, people import this and they import that. And I know there's a lot of companies, it's really easy to import wool. You can import 68 different colors of dyed wool and just mm -hmm. package them into kits and which is most of the needle felting yeah. kits that you find out and, there. And it's so frustrating. There is imported wool. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we're trying to offer something that's made here right in the USA. And we take special care of the sheep. <laughs> Absolutely. And you know that they're and, taken care of. Um, in a, and they all have names. They, yes. And, they, and the wool, um, I've been breeding for years um, just for needle felting. So yeah. Your I've genetics been, are amazing. I've been creating wool that is perfect for needle felting. And if you haven't mm -hmm. tried our wool, uh, you need to because mm -hmm. it is it is superior. Um, and that's why we um, charge what we do. Mm -hmm. And we do not think our prices are too much. Mm -mm, not mm -hmm. at all. I mean, uh, honestly, it's we've had so many people that have tried our wool and, and seriously go, OK, we get it. Now. Mm -hmm. We get it. Because it's, it's just different. It, it just makes needle felting easy. I mean, and yeah, it's, it's just different. It is. If mm -hmm. you've ever bought wool from anywhere else, you need to try our wool because mm -hmm. it makes needle felting fun. It is mm -hmm. so different from wool that is imported. It's mm -hmm. not just, and you know what it is. I mean, it's, it's, yes. <laughs> it's canasta and it's mm -hmm. the Casconi and it's <laughs> yeah, all yeah, the, those different, are the, the different, the yes. different names of our sheep. Yes. And they're all from my flock, which have mm -hmm. been specially bred for needle felding wool and mm -hmm. processed right here. And tonight <laughs> we went out and cause the, the ewes and the lambs were just moved out onto pasture. So Teresa and I went and checked on them. Mm -hmm. And it was so fun. We brought a little bucket of treats for them. And um, we, we'd like to share a little bit of, mm -hmm. of, of the flock, which is uh, right behind the school. So yes. enjoy. <music> question well first of all this week's or last week's question was what arrived at the school on june 16th and that was my dear parents anniversary and what arrived but our milling equipment. equipment and we have an entire you have an entire video I devoted did. to that on, mm -hmm. on our youtube channel so check that out it was out. a very special day we've been it waiting was. for it forever 
and it was such an anxious day for me because they all had to be craned lowered down into the area well and mm -hmm. moved in. And it was such a oh. busy, busy time where we were getting the whole school done and ready mm -hmm. for the grand opening and the uh, all school reunion and just yes, getting the fiber mill equipment in there was amazing. It was. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. And four wheels in a highway. God bless you both. You guys got it. Mm -hmm. So you are the winners. Just contact us through bearcreekfelting.com uh, and uh, let us know that you are the YouTube winner. Mm -hmm. And next week's question is, what three songs inspired me at the end of YouTube 68? Well, it might not be the end. It might be the middle. Just check out YouTube. Somewhere in YouTube yeah. 68. YouTube number 68. So in YouTube 68, we had also talked about how we, well, we promise a lot of things, but we... <laughs> One of the things next week, we're going to fulfill the other promise that we made on there. Mm -hmm. yep. And One YouTube 68, <laughs> we said we were going to put lights in clink. Mm -hmm. We haven't done that. We've been so we busy and we forget some of the things that we were going to do. So we are Luckily, very thankful we were reminded. for reminders. Mm -hmm. And so we lit up clink. We have the 4th of July celebration coming up. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be amazing. If, it is. if you Seriously, it would be worth flying in to Hector International Airport. We will pick you up at the airport and come stay, stay with right us here the whole the weekend. We have rooms available. Book them on site at gnomeschoolhouse.com. You can choose your room. Experience a small town 4th of July, which it's is going to be pretty cool. Amazing. Really fun. And Gnome has not had a 4th of July like this in years and years. They used to have parades. They have a parade route, mm -hmm. um, but they haven't. It's, um, there's, like there was no businesses in Nome before us. Mm -hmm. um, so now the, the Chamber of, of Commerce of Nome have gotten together and has plans. So it's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. so and the if, city is putting on an amazing fireworks display like they always do. They just mm -hmm. rock it. So if you so. need a quiet, small town for the July, this is the place. Come see us. Anything else you want to add? We have such a plethora of... Of, of events, activities and activities, and, events. And, and we just invite you all to come and stay with us. Mm -hmm. Stay at the Gnome Schoolhouse, and yeah, it's an amazing getaway. Mm -hmm. We will. We and will you can find all of the events, retreats, activities mm -hmm. that we're doing here at University, E W E, instead of you, university.org. The female she, Baha, Baha. <laughs> Baha. <laughs> God bless you all. Thanks for joining us and bye bye. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. All my days I've been held in your hands. The moment that I wake up till I lay my head, I will sing of the goodness of God. And all my life you have been faithful. And all my No, no.
of the goodness of God. I'm gonna sing of the goodness.